Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Advanced Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. Anyway, I'm recording this at about 10:30 p.m. on uh, June 24th, 2012. I just needed something to record, so I think I'm gonna cut it for this part. So if you like this part, give it a like, subscribe if you want to watch future videos, and feel free to watch any of my previous videos if you really feel like it. So next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword, we're gonna see what the hell she's talking about. Uh, so see you guys then. Alright, so you have enough of an attention span to notice that there was still more to this video. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, I'm recording this pretty damn late, and yeah, I still tend to upload this on uh, Monday. Or tomorrow. Or the day I'm recording this. Anyway, she, right now we're talking to Beatrice, and yeah, we, I was just gonna deposit the shield, and now she's already asking us, you don't come by here to see me, huh, do you? Eh. Well, you're an eight. Yeah, sure, why not? What? Really? Yeah, right, you think I'm gonna fall for that old line? But if we were true, that might be kinda nice. Oh, I almost forgot, I still have a job to do. <laughs> Damn right, take my shield and let that thought process, like, bubble up in your brain or something. I don't really need the bandage shield right now because, yeah, I already got the iron shield on my back. Not like I need it. <laughs> no, seriously, even if without the iron shield, I think it'd be best if I don't have a wooden shield with me as we make our way into the next area. So, let's just make our way over to the new column of light, and not that one over there. I think we're gonna be have to make our way in... somewhere in that general area, that over there. So, I think this is the closest one that we can make our way to. There is one, there is a whole bunch of areas you could dive off of, but... eh, I really want to be doing that just now. I just want to go to the closest one and dive the hell off. All right, onward into the new area that we're going to be exploring. And, yeah, you know what's weird? Let's go back into Skylock. I wonder. Oh, I don't know. Huh? Yeah. I wonder if I can actually land inside the friggin' island. I think I actually, I think I pussied out a bit and I just decided, eh, hey, you know what, screw it. That's what I was thinking. And let's just get a little boost right here while we're at it. Aha! Look at this. And if you press Z, you can actually get like a little bottom down view. And you can get more precise aim with diving off. Uh, freaking tired. <laughs> because uh, I just been at work for like the past three days. And yeah, I didn't even push the sailcloth that time. And if I remember correctly, Fi is going to mention Elden Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with power of the earth. All right. Of course, the necessary fire area of the game. I mean, it wouldn't be Zelda if you weren't exploring a volcano or somewhere really hot. So 65% of the region is covered by lava, of course. Inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in the extreme heat and something, something, something. Flammable materials such as wood and fabric in red text. <laughs> and when you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. Yeah, look at that. Stop, drop, and roll, or stop, drop, and swing your freaking sword around your body. Eh, one of those two. I'm pretty sure it's the stop, drop, and uh, swing the freaking sword around your body. That sounds like the one that they taught me in school, I think. Alright, so here's Elden Volcano. So this is the second area we're going to be exploring and such, and I'm going to be saving because I don't know why. I just feel like saving. Give me a break, I've been working all day for the past three days. <laughs> Hell, I just got off of work not even like an hour ago, and Jelly Blob. <laughs> no, seriously, I've been working for the past three days. <laughs> My body is freaking exhausted right now. If you're wondering, well, why aren't you going to sleep? Why the fuck not? For your information, you're currently attempting to entertain location of Zelda. Yes, I know. Jeez, who would forget that? My apologies. <laughs> Damn right. I am your master. How dare you question me? Anyway, I was yeah, as I was saying, if you're probably wondering why aren't I just going to sleep right now if I'm so freaking tired, well... All I did was listen to, like, the Paper Mario 
thousand year door final boss music and that gave me enough energy hell that would give anyone energy hey hey you mess with our turf and you're gonna pay oh you're not yo lead i don't think this is one of those red creeps why do they all have names when i won't remember them yeah you're right i think you're right no reason to scare the hair off us though sorry about that pal these monsters showing up and messing with our turf has got me on edge they show up here and i'm gonna knock the red clean out of them that's what i'm doing here yeah me lead I'm such an important character. Yeah, whatever, Mr. Too Scared to Dig in the Dark. <laughs> anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you should stay clear of those red guys. Dude, I've killed plenty of those red guys. Get the hell out of my way, I'm gonna kill them right now. Just cause I feel like it. Just for shits and giggles. Oh god, get the hell off my body. So yeah, these are red shoes, unlike the ones that uh, we've been facing in the one area. <laughs> Baron Woods. Baron Woods are just like regular chews, like they don't have any special effects towards them. And just get the hell out of those. And damn it, don't fall in the lava. Don't fall in the lava. Thank you, sir. So anyway, like the green chews back in the Baron Woods, they don't really do any they don't really have any special effects to them. Like the red shoes in here, they will actually catch you a bit on fire. At least they like burn you or something like that. They'll do they'll do a bit more damage over time, I wanna say. Who are you supposed to be? Never seen one of your, you around here before. Hold it right there. Are you one of those red creeps? Uh, red creeps? No, seriously. Aren't they talking about the bow goblins? Yeah, monsters carrying big blades. They're crawling all over the place. Can't believe you haven't ran into any of them. I saw some back like in some woods. So you're not pals. What's it? Then you're here to pick bomb flowers. Bomb Terrorism? You're joking, right? Those are them growing right over there. Pick one with A infused lights. And the fuse lights a few seconds later, boom! If you want to stop and sniff the flower, dangerous plants, believe me. And once you learn to use them, they're a powerful weapon. As mogmas are crazy about them, or mogmas, I'll call them mogmas. You can toss and roll them the same way you do jars. See what you can do with those bomb flowers over there. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> well, I know how to throw stuff on the uh, freaking Fledge's head, if you mean that. You just do it like this, right? Yeah, Alright. I know something! Hooray! Throwing stuff to Fledge's head, it paid off somehow. I don't get how that works, but yeah. Apparently you injure people, you learn stuff. Yeah, it seems pain to, seems okay to me. Alright, so we're, I'm just gonna be clearing up all these paths, and yes, if you can see right here, there's actually a little path that's hidden in that little area that we could sneak into, and we could just roll it roll a bomb in there and I just failed miserably at aiming <laughs> all right throw it properly oh my god look at that chew hey throw it properly sir thank you ma'am and yes and that's just all for five rupees do 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 all right I'm just gonna back up really really quick look at this fucker Red Choo Choo. Red Choo Choo, then exceedingly high body temperature. Avoid all physical contact or your clothing and shield may burst into flames. When you start set on fire, and yes, either roll or spin attack. Hey! I got a very strong battle rating with these guys, even though I've only killed four of them. Oh, no, 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 and I've killed one. Oh my god! No, no, sir. There we go. Hey, you like me now? You're ready for swinging the freaking Wii remote wildly like a crazy madman. Anyway, we're just gonna make more go. Yeah, because five rupees good says. Because I really need the rupees. Now I got 500 rupee wallet. I am really wanting it. There we go. Even if it's green boobies. Did I just say green boobies? <laughs> uh, well, it sounded like I said it anyway. Even if it's green rupees, that's what I'm trying to say. Green rupees, I will go for them. I don't care. I like me the money. Anyway, I think I'm only going to record one or two parts this recording session because, yeah, I really want to get these videos edited and I really want some sleep. Seriously. Another stranger. Not one of those red creeps either. I swear, this neighborhood's getting crummier every day. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hey, I saw this funny dressed character in red tags go in that hole over there. Might be the friend you're looking for. What do you want? You want to know what this kook was wearing? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the getup was blackish. Other than that, I don't remember much. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Zelda at all. She's not a goth. Unless she somehow turned goth on the way over here. Like, on the way to the surface, she's like, Oh, man, 
I have a hard life, and then she starts wearing black, and oh my god, I don't want that Zelda. I don't want it at all. That's not the Zelda I know! <laughs> or, not the Zelda most people know, anyway. If you guys saw that enemy, it actually went inside that hole. If you try getting up close to it, and it's just gonna breathe fire. So, of course, we're gonna be using this whole bond flower strategy to actually get him out of the hole, or kill him. One of those two. Get in there. Or, nah, damn, I got a little too close when I was throwing it. You gotta throw it from a distance, because even if you're, like, pretty damn close to him... Yeah. Damn it. It's, like, so freaking close. I gotta do this. There we go. Like, to me, I don't really know how to throw a freaking bomb flower properly. Or how to roll stuff properly, because if you actually twist the Wii Remote like this... Or, like, you see, I'm twisting the Wii Remote and, like, Link's wrist is... Uh, reacting accordingly. Doo -doo. Woo <laughs> look at this. I've actually... Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty good detail they added. Like, you twist the remote, and Link's wrist twists along with it. You're like, oh my god, look at this beautiful sword. I've never appreciated such beauty. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm just getting a little sidetracked with the whole little detail they added there. <laughs> Hey, what up, buddy? No, you're not. No, you're not. No. no. Okay, never mind. You did. You bastard. All right. There you go. Hooray for shield bashing. Seriously. Shield bash, you make things way too easy. There you go. <laughs> and I don't even need the health, but I'll grab it anyway. And look at that. Well, it's a lot more resilient than the wooden shield. You guys, you got to admit that. Like, Wind Shield didn't really have much health to it, but this definitely has it a lot more. And it takes a lot more hits, of course. And... I'm trying to remember how to go about this. I'm just, like, going crazy like a man. Oh, my God! And... I don't know. I don't really like what happens when you're free... Oh, God. Like, whenever you get caught on fire and stuff, like, you actually hear Link, like, panting in pain and stuff like... <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God! No, 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 sir. Sir, madam, guy, person thing. So anyway, with these guys in those little holes like this, such, you just gotta throw the bomb flower inside the little hole, or get blown up by them. Or, it's fine. That just that works just as good. And I just missed completely. Come on, blow your fire. Or yeah, not on the freaking. <laughs> Jesus! Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Okay, fuck you too. And they're like, oh, <laughs> okay, fuck you all. Fuck you all. And shut up, B. You can actually throw from up here, which I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, because look at this. Ah, sick bastards. Look at that. Ah, ah, ah. Shut up, Fike. B, five oh fum. Yes, yes, all that other stupid joke shit. And I'm trying to pick up the flower. Throw it in the hole. Or fail miserably. And yeah, that'll do fine. There we go. Jeez. The simp the aim is so easy and yet I failed so miserably at it. That's yeah, that's just terrible. Anyway, if you actually go across this, yeah, it's gonna start sinking as you go about it. Look at that. Ah, sneak attack! Wait, you make one of those red guys? Don't creep up on me like that. You almost had to tackle it. That the tackle yell. Didn't mean to yell at you, but those red jerks moved in and been stinking up our turf, you know? I've been hearing this a lot. Apparently it's true. Coming through that hole back there, so I'd sunk the road leading to it in lava. That'll stop more of them from moving it, I'd say. Of course, we can tunnel underneath it, so it's no sweat for us. Pretty clever, right? Damn right. So stay away from the plug that's holding out the lava. It'll do more than singe your eyebrows off. Bye now. And you just leave. Freaking bastard. So, of course, if we want to make our way into that little area where the person actually went into, or that one guy, the, Mo the Mogma, actually mentioned. Then we gotta blow this up, and then the lava will actually, uh... Yeah, make its way off the wear of their corner. There we go. So you just gotta aim properly with the bomb flower, Chucky. This took me so long to actually figure out the first time I played this. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And yeah, I'm just like... I was just baffled about this. I'm like, wait, what am I supposed to do? And I'm like, wait a minute. And then it's just like freaking Eagle Raptor flashback. And then, yeah. Anyway, we can't do anything about this, I believe. So we just gotta make our way forward and. Damn it, bye! I know my health is low. 
I have two heart potions. I'm not gonna waste them now. Oh, what the hell was that? I didn't even. What? You guys see that jump link thing? Just yeah. Look. Bye. Shut. And damn it. Where's the health? Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Okay, never mind. Never freaking mind. I don't, I don't need it. I don't freaking need it. Anyway, hopefully I can aim this properly. Hopefully. Maybe. I'll try. Because there is a goddess cube that we could actually get right here if you make your way over here. Yeah. And there's some chests and stuff you can get along the way, but I'm going for this mainly. Oh, uh, look at that. All right. Hello, goddess cube. Hey, I got more editing to do. Crap. I think this is all for one part, so I gotta add, edit this. Oh well, screw it. Uh, let's make our way for holy crap, I could have gotten damaged. But no, I don't want that to happen. And Fee's not mentioning, hey, your health is low. Good. So yeah, I am so tired right now. I, I'm so tempted to just only record one part, but I at least want to make my way halfway into this whole area. I'm say I'm about a quarter of the way through right now. Hey, what are you doing? Those creeps just shimmied in on in and took over our territory. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend? And yep, you're there. Nobody's coming through here, so maybe they went up the mountain from over that away. That away. Uh, wish someone would chase those clowns out of here. What clowns? There's clowns. I'll fucking kill them. Oh, it's just these guys. These aren't clowns. What the hell are you talking about? They're just moblins. Most of them, goblins, whatever. The what? Oh my god, man. There you go. There you go, buddy. Oh, buddy. There we go. Damn it. Eh, I'm getting them one by one. So yeah, if you're going to be noticing right now that these enemies aren't going to be going away because there's one Volk Goblin over there that keeps calling them. So yeah, what you want to do is get that guy out of the way. And then the rest should go down simply. There you go, buddy. Get the hell out of my face. Ha! Bastard. So now you just got to kill the remainder. There we go. Bastard. <laughs> Whoa, you took out every last one of them. Damn right. So yeah, I don't think they actually do drop any treasures if you just let them keep spawning in like that. Then again, I'm not sure. I haven't really tried it. I don't remember them dropping ever any, uh, like those ornamental skulls. One tough customer, thanks for all your help. Blame me for not knowing this, but us Mogmas always honor our deaths. Let me give you something to prove. Any special quests? Uh... I don't know. 